Good evening. This is Sharon Judge with the Inside Edge on a wonderful holiday tradition in Medfield, the Medfield Foundation Angel Run. And with me today are my guests Kelly McDermott, board member of the Medfield Foundation and co-director of this year's Medfield Angel Run. That's right. And Eric Morris with Needham Bank. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Um, so Kelly, can you tell us about, for the folks that have never done the Angel Run, um, who've never seen it, maybe just moved to town, could you tell us a little bit about the Angel Run and what the day is like? Sure. So the Angel Run um, really kicks off a holiday tradition in town. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Angel Run started in 2006. Um, <clears throat> it started under rather tragic circumstances where there was a third grade uh, student, Natasha Domashek, who passed away suddenly. And her peers and Susie Garrity, one of the moms of the peers, decided that they wanted to keep her memory alive. Um, so they decided to put together a road race in her memory um, that would really capture her spirit, which was, she was born around the holiday, she was born in December, so it was around this festive time of year. She was a very kind little girl. And so they created the Angel Run in Natasha's memory. And the design of it was to run for 10 years until she graduated from Medfield High School. The race ended up attracting over a thousand runners. It was wildly successful. Um, I think it really captured the spirit of giving back and the Medfield community and the special place that it is and the special girl that Natasha was. So the Medfield Foundation, which I'm also a part of, has always supported the Angel Run. Um, what the Medfield Foundation does is we are the infrastructure behind um, nonprofits. So the Angel Run is a nonprofit. The proceeds from the Angel Run go to helping needy families in town. Mm -hmm. And the Medfield Foundation was a part of that from the beginning. Um, after the, the race had finished its, its course, if you will, over 10 years, uh, we as the Medfield Foundation, which I sit on that committee, um, didn't want to see the race go away because we could see just how wonderful and, and um, um, spirited the community became every year around the time of the race, which is usually the first weekend in December. And so we as the foundation decided, why don't we take it on and we will try to orchestrate the race ourselves. So last year was the first year that the Medfield Foundation um, orchestrated the race with the Damashek's help and Susie Garrity's help. And um, we attracted over a thousand runners last year, so it's really just captured the spirit of the Medfield community and uh, the proceeds from the race go to helping needy families in Medfield. Oh, so. That's wonderful. And is it um, something that uh, everyone can do? I know it's a 5K. Mm -hmm. It's a fun run slash walk. That's right. I know I look forward to it um, every year with my family and friends. I'm more of a walker. That's okay. Um, That's all start right. Start out running. <laughs> um, but I just, I love seeing my friends and family and community out for a fun festive day. It's very special to us. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a healthy way to give back to the community and it's a great way to kick off the holidays. I know that the Medfield tree lighting ceremony through Memo is mm -hmm. Friday night, December mm -hmm. 6th. And then there's the Girl Scout Parade on Saturday, the 7th. And this year the Medfield Angel Run is running on uh, December 8th, Sunday at 2 o'clock. But yeah, to see everybody, just the outpouring of the community and you get all different ages and we've actually attracted runners and walkers from all over New England now so it's really That's not amazing. even just a Medfield event mm -hmm. it's really spanned into a New England event and people look forward to kicking off their holiday season and knowing that what they're doing is healthy and it's giving to um, families that have fallen on hard times. Mm. So all ages? All ages. You don't have to run or walk you can share folks on? Absolutely. You can be a cheerer. You can be a volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers. You can bake an item for the Angel Run. Mm -hmm. We have a post-race uh, event in the cafeteria at the Wheelock mm -hmm. School. And um, so you can be a baker. You can cheer on. We're going to have carolers along the route. The route is all decorated, that. as you know, because mm -hmm. you run walked it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's, it's wonderful. We'll also have uh, the bell choir out there. Oh, great. The Girl Scouts participate. Mm -hmm. The Boy Scouts participate. So it's a really fun way to spend an afternoon on a Sunday. That's great. And so I know registration is open, which um, it's hard to believe the holidays are right around the corner already. So if people want to uh, 
pre-register. I think that's going the pre-registration through November 8th. That's right. So you can pre-register mm -hmm. online, which is a new thing this okay. year. Um, so it's www.medfieldfoundation.org okay. is our website. And you can register online. It's $25. With that, you get a t-shirt, which um, is a coveted oh. commodity every year. Everybody loves the t-shirts of the Angel Run. Yes. So this is an example of the one from 2011. And um, this is our logo. The color changes every year. Um, the logo stays pretty much the same. And then we have our families who have donated to the Medfield Foundation and, um, and also our wonderful corporate sponsors, which we wouldn't be doing nearly as well without our, our wonderful corporate sponsors. So their logos are on the bottom of the shirt. But the, um, the shirt color is a secret every year. Nobody knows what color the shirt will be. And we actually, if you go online for $25 and register for the race, uh, we have a committee together that, that hand delivers the t-shirts into the mailboxes of every Medfield family mm -hmm. that orders t-shirts. So it's a convenience and it's also part of the, the surprise of the race and it generates this excitement and the kids will, we deliver them the Wednesday before the race. Mm -hmm. So the students will have a Angel Run t-shirt day, if oh. you will, and they wear, they tend to wear their t-shirts the, the Thursday or the Friday before mm -hmm. the race. So it, it again builds to the excitement and the, the sense of community uh, with that race. And um, like I said, I. We wouldn't be doing nearly as well in being able to contribute to families without um, corporate sponsors like Needham Bank, who is a, a uh, major corporate sponsor to the Angel Run this year, and we're very, very appreciative for, for their support. Yes, and I would love to hear, Eric, how Needham Bank became involved with the Medfield Foundation Angel Run. Our CEO, Jack McGeorge, lives in Medfield, and I would be uh, lying if I didn't oh. tell you that had something to do with it. Um, we think of ourselves as uh, Medfield's community bank. We have a very deep involvement uh, with many organizations in town. With respect to the Medfield Foundation and the Angel Run, um, we're tremendously proud of the work that this group has done over the years. And in many ways, I think it epitomizes what makes Medfield such a great place to live and work. Uh, when we had the opportunity to increase our partnership um, with the foundation, specifically on the run, uh, we jumped at it. So we, we, we believe in a very deep partnership with the organizations we support. We think we have that with, with you, your folks. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. And we do. We live in a wonderful community. But our neighbors, some of them are in need. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about that and how um, the monies that are raised, so mm -hmm. through the, um, when you register through that donation money, maybe you could tell us, Kelly, how that money Sure. So um, what happens is the Medfield Foundation um, is a 501c3. Mm -hmm. And um, what that enables us to do is to um, have the funds uh, basically funnel th through us mm -hmm. um, and then to the UCC church here in Medfield. They are the ones, along with Don Alcott, who's with Medfield Outreach. Mm -hmm. Together, they are able to identify who the families are in town that are um, in great need. Um, it's completely anonymous to us as the Medfield Foundation, of course. But uh, so they work, the UCC church and Don Alcott work together to um, help deliver those funds to the families that need it most. And we are really just a conduit for that. So. Okay we're able to, um, with our tax-exempt status, mm -hmm. um, sort of be a holding tank, if you will, for, for that initiative. And um, they've done a remarkable job at helping really deserving families in town, whether it would be um, paying for a heating bill or, or rent or somebody who has lost their job and is having trouble um, putting a, a meal on the table for their family. So real, real needs um, that seem to be invisible to us because we think we live in such a, a leafy community as Medfield is, um, but it, it um, you know, these challenges are around us uh, everywhere. And so we just feel fortunate that we have a mechanism to be able to help mm. people and, and make the holidays a little bit more enjoyable and, and their lives um, mm -hmm. in general. So if someone, um could not make the event for some reason, could they still uh, donate? Absolutely, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. So um, they can just go on our website, medfieldfoundation.org, mm -hmm. and 
you can contribute uh, directly to the Medfield Foundation, which will go into the Angel Run Fund, and then those proceeds will go to the families in town that, that are in need. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking for volunteers for the Medfield Foundation, so the Angel Run is one of our many initiatives that we have as an organization. We have about 30 different initiatives that we head up here in town, including the Zulo Gallery, um, we were part of the high school turf replacement project that's now that. quite a mm -hmm. few years old, um, but we were uh, supporters of that um, quite a few years ago. The Volunteer of the Year Award is mm -hmm. an event that we hold uh, each March, and so there are many opportunities for people to get involved and feel like they're part of the wonderful community that we live in in Medfield, whether it be the Angel Run or one of our initiatives. So if they wanted to donate to the Angel Run, um, certainly go on the medfieldfoundation.org website and contribute to the Angel Run, or you can see a list of all the other initiatives and um, uh, causes that we stand behind, and you can donate to that particular cause as well. That's great. And I know Needham Bank has been a generous sponsor this year, um, Platinum sponsor. Maybe you, yes. you could explain that um, and how if there's other businesses in town that want to get involved. And sure. So we have a few different levels of um, support. We have the Platinum uh, sponsor, which mm -hmm. Needham Bank is our premium Platinum sponsor. Um, they stepped up early in the process Fantastic. and really wanted to um, join hands with us for this cause, which is great because we have the same initiatives and in being part of the fabric of the community. So we have Needham Bank, and that uh, sponsorship is $2,500 or more. Then the next level is our gold sponsorship, which is $1,000 or more. And then it goes down by to $500 for your, bra your silver, and then $100 and up to, five to $250 is the bronze. So there are different levels um, wherever corporate sponsors feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. We also have friends of the mid, of the Midfield Angel Run, so anywhere fifty dollars on up, you can contribute that money, and you'll be able to get your message on the back of the T-shirt. So not only your family name uh, will go on the back of the T-shirt, but you can also insert a message um, along with that name as well. Oh, that's so, fun. Yeah. And so, when would if someone want to take advantage of that? When would you have to get it? In? The cutoff is coming up right away. It's. Uh, November 1st for November corporate 1st sponsors for to okay. get their um, their check to us and again they can donate online because mm -hmm. it's all online right now and we'll be sure to get their logo printed on the t-shirt which is a really nice thing to show all, all the support that we've been able to mm -hmm. get uh, for the run um, so yes that deadline is coming right up now if folks do miss the deadline for registration for the run can they still um, get in late Sure. We have online, well, we have the online registration, and that cutoff is November 8th, but after that we'll have day of registration. Oh, fantastic. So those that might want to wait or they're not sure what their plans are, they can come to the Wheelock School the day of and register uh, right there in the cafe, I'm sorry, in the small gym at the Wheelock School. And the fee goes up to $30 uh, for registration day of and there is no t-shirt available at that point because we need to place the order in advance to make sure we get those thousand plus t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're always welcoming anybody who wants to run, walk, participate, um, to sign up. There's plenty of time. That's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm, I've enjoyed speaking with you. Is there anything, um, Eric, that you'd like to add? Well, um, there is one more way that, that you can participate and support the foundation in addition to our donation. Uh, that we're delighted to make to the foundation. We've offered a challenge grant to them, oh. mm -hmm. where for every Medfield family that comes into our office and opens a new checking account, we'll make a $100 donation to the foundation. Wow. So we think that's a, a wonderful way to extend our commitment to the mm -hmm. foundation, and it just provides another way for people to participate and help. Fantastic, and do you have anything to add, Kelly? I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful event, and I really encourage everybody to come out. And it's so much fun if it's a freezing cold day, if it's despite what the temperatures say, it's a great way to get out there, get some exercise, and know that you're really making an impact on your community. So I encourage everybody to sign up, join in the fun. It's a really great, great day. I agree. This is something that my friends and family look forward to every year. and. My advice is don't miss it. 
Don't miss it. It's Sunday, December 8th, beginning at 2, 2 p.m. at the Ralph Wheelock School. That's right. And um, the course ends at the back at the Wheelock. At the Phoenix. Wheelock. Yes, it ends at the Wheelock School. So it starts and ends at Wheelock. And it's a beautiful course. It goes through, um, goes down Elm Street onto Phillips Street mm. and then cuts up Hillcrest. So you get that little bit of a cardio blast on <laughs> Hillcrest. <laughs> And you go through the back of the middle school, a little bit of cross country in there, and then um, around by the high school, back on onto South Street, and then loop back left onto Elm Street. It, it really is a 5K, a true 5K, um, and it's, it's lined with, with, you know, cheers and carolers and water stations. It really is a fun, fun event, and the police do a wonderful job at, at um, detouring all the roads so it's, it's safe as well. Um, we've got dogs on leashes, we've got moms and dads with baby strollers mm -hmm. and um, all ages and everybody's invited to come. Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. We always bring our dog Stryker. And <laughs> it's just, it's a wonderful event. Don't miss it this year. Sunday, December 8th at 2 o'clock at the Ralph Wheelock Fields. This is Sharon Judge um, with the Inside Edge and wishing you all the best. Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan and you're watching Medfield.tv.